Hi, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Day and today I'm going to do a subscriber based review special and um, out of 20 people who have emailed me their base with high resolution um, photograph I need to choose uh, four bases but unfortunately one of the bases that I have randomly chosen in the live show uh, does not uh, actually uh, have any attachment Okay, the first base I'd like to review is by Ryan Koo is uh, Ryan Koo uh, this base is um, very unique. It's something I've not seen um, previously. Looking at this, you can see that there's some of the buildings on the outside. You can see they are a distance away from any tower defense range. So, for example, all these uh, builder huts will definitely be taken out uh, easily by maybe one or two archers uh, deployed and on the outside. Maybe. That's a huge uh, thunder, and of course here you can actually drop in like three archers to take out a couple of bu buildings without any enemy attack. Maybe from here uh, the archers will will attack uh, from here, but the cannon might not be able to attack the archers from here. Um, you drop in a couple of archers, you you get at least uh, maybe twenty five percent of the buildings. Right, so after that, you can see the, the full range of uh, buildings that is available uh, over the outside here. That is another 10%, so you get about 30% of the, the base uh, buildings available for the enemy to take out. And the enemy can take out using a T-junction break over here, and you break into the two walls together over the corner T-junction. That's why sometimes um, you like to upgrade the walls at the T-junction uh, so that you actually uh, have less of a problem with that. Try to upgrade like three walls at the junction so that the, the junction will not be taken out easily or you stagger the, the walls just like uh, the staggering on the right side over here. Uh, if you, Even if you break one wall, the second wall inside will not be broken. And another unique thing is uh, there's a couple of low level walls at the, at, at the corner. I believe there's one more at the bottom. It's, uh, you can actually place in between the spring trap, maybe right over here. And, and to make sure that the enemy actually step on the spring trap uh, uh, during that time. And what else? Okay, from here you can see the air defense towers is uh, relatively centralized, which is good. But try to upgrade the air defense towers as soon as you can, uh, because air, air defense is uh, easily overtaken by four uh, high level dragons, maybe level three dragons. Mm -hmm. This is a trophy base because the town hall is in the center. So the enemy will have to attack multiple times in order to get to the town hall. but. Um, they can actually get more than 50% overall damage uh, to actually win this base. So as long as they are, uh, their, their troops are high level, because at a higher town hall, uh, higher trophy levels, uh, most likely you'll be encountering those level 6 troops, uh, barbarians, archers, uh, you know, goblins, and uh, giants of level 6, making it very hard to defend against them. Uh, if they use lightning spells on the expo and the mortar here, uh, most likely they will be able to get into the, the town hall easily, even without any dragons. So just take note about that. And of course here there's another uh, a T junction break, T junction break, T junction break, and T junction break here on the top side. So this space is, I would say, relatively balanced relatively balanced because uh, the the cannon is at in the pentagon shape cannon you can see the cannon is in in the pe can pentagon shape uh, but unfortunately it's not very balanced balanced meaning equal distance from each other uh, of the same type of uh, towers so you, if you have four towers like the the air defense towers you can place in the square position instead of a rectangle square is equal distance so you have coverage of uh, equal distance from each direction of the base um the arches is a little bit unbalanced you can see the arches on the left the arches on the right 
the arches at the bottom. So uh, what about the top side? It's, it's actually um, not covered by the arches. So guys, if you are designing a base, maybe you can think of placing the towers at the 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 balance location first before dropping in the walls uh, to to uh, build the base and the outside buildings try to stick nearer to the base so that the the towers can cover the outside buildings uh, while they are being attacked uh, taking out some at least some of the enemy troops uh, you know, removing the the fact that um, you are actually giving them a uh, percentage of the base to destroy without uh, opposed by your towers so this base is relatively all right it's just need a little bit of redesigning and balancing and it's okay you actually sacrifice some of the uh, resources storage relatively exposed but i think for trophy uh, rushing for the trophies this is uh, almost inevitable but you'll be very hard uh, forward uh, you need to actually uh, get more resource to upgrade. It will be very hard for you at a high trophy region that you sacrifice the storage at such a early stage where not all your towers are fully upgraded. So you need to save up gold and, and you cannot play uh, the whole day to accumulate gold. Then you face a problem if uh, you cannot protect your gold resources and uh, you cannot upgrade you even you have high trophies you might not be able to enjoy the game as much as as uh, majority of the people so people will have high uh, level troops and attack you with high level troops and your your town halls uh, i mean your your tro your towers are not very uh, high level your walls are not very high level it makes very hard for you to uh, defend against enemy attack even though you try your best right so this uh for ryan okay so for this uh, next base is by cow k-o-w cow and so uh, i think this is a level seven base level seven uh, trophy base at 1779 trophies okay looking at this um as usual most people have one mistake that is very common is exposing these uh, air defense towers Air defense towers is uh, very crucial in defending against the uh, enemy air units. So try not to expose your air defense towers so uh, at least the second layer in inner part of the base will be uh, much better off. And, um, and at Town Hall 7 being a, a trophy base which you chase after trophies it's not very uh, conducive for upgrading uh, for your your um, your base. The mortar is in triangular formation is uh, relatively okay. The cannon is in pentagon formation. This is good. So the archer tower is the one that is uh, not very balanced two at the top two at the bottom so if it's small balance is supposed to be in a equal distance from each other meaning a square uh, positioning currently your gold storage and your elixir storage is slightly on the outside so it's that's the reason why i say it's very hard to defend against that from outside you can see all your elixir collector and gold mine is side by side so uh, try to place um one non-resource in between the elixir collector and gold mine so that the goblins will have to run a longer distance another thing is any traps at the corner uh, alongside the walls are not recommended because the enemy will have a less chance of uh, triggering the traps at the left side uh, at the side of a wall because there is nothing else to attack for example if the enemy comes from the right side break the wall destroy these two towers they will go straight into the inner side of the wall unless uh, there is a you know there is a place for them to pass right through here then a spring track in between here will be nice yep okay so well basically that's it for cow 
Okay, so for this particular base, as usual, um, the air defense towers is very exposed at this point of time. Even though they are uh, fully uh, spread out, what they can do is uh, using maybe uh, lightning spells to get rid of one, and then use uh, barbarian and archer attack for for the 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 rest of the tree, and then drop in about uh, two dragons. Two dragons, four dragons, and you can actually wipe out half the base using this uh, technique. But I know it's very difficult uh, if you have the expo uh, set at anti air, anti ground at the same time, then the expo will definitely defend the base a much better uh, position in the center, which is very good. But the air defense tower should be in the second layer if possible in the middle of the base will be much better. Your resources is actually focused at the center of the this area. So with any chance the enemy attack from the outside and have a T-junction break, the next is uh, they will attack the wall breaker here and here. And then the next wall breakers will break the inner side of the wall and uh, you know get into the base. Even though there is um, there's uh, some hidden Tesla, uh, but if the enemy mass a uh, huge number of troops with healing spells, uh, they will be able to get majority of the resource in one single partition. That means it's not very uh, recommended to put all your resource in one basket. It's like telling robbers that all your money is in one single safe for them to rob. So do not do that. Put your money in multiple safe, in multiple partition, far away from each other. So when the enemy comes in, they will just focus on one partition of the base and you get maybe 25% of your gold storage or elixir storage. By placing them in a single partition, uh, you'll get about 60% to 80% of your resource storage as opposed to the enemy focusing on them so try not to put that in that in that position okay here you need to put in something in between the the elixir collector and the gold mine here as well put in in between elixir collector and gold mine so that the goblins will have to run a longer distance i like the clan castle in the center because the clan castle troops will not be triggered so early in the battle they'll only be triggered when majority of the enemy troops are already deployed uh, you know, while attacking and then the, the clan castle troops will come out and attack the enemy from within the walls using a long distance maybe archers uh, that will make a very uh, very good position for the clan castle to be in the center of the base <laughs> Well, basically, that's it for this subscriber base review for today. And uh, if you want to participate in this base review, you can send in your uh, fully zoom out high resolution screenshot of your base uh, best use uh, iPad 3 and above to take the screenshot. If not, ask your clan's mate to help you take a, uh, a screenshot of your base and then send it to you and then you to me at this email address at summontes on the air at gmail.com and of course um do comment comment section below and share this video to people who needs it and of course do subscribe right so thank you very much for watching summon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye to support for this podcast please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews thank you very much